You're watching Guy Gatineau. It's more than a hundred years since William Lyon Mackenzie King first rode his bike up to Kingsmere and began to fall in love with the place. That was in 1900, and by 1903 he'd bought a piece of land and built a cottage. He called it Kingswood. Over the years that followed, he acquired approximately 500 acres, a state which boasted five houses and cottages. Now, the combined facts of this obvious enthusiasm for the place and his political dominance in Canada over much of the first half of the 20th century makes it easy to conclude that Kingsmere was named for Mackenzie King. But it wasn't. Before the area was a haven for cottagers and that began before Mackenzie King began his land-buying spree, Irish farmers had settled there and tried to scrape out an existence. One of these must have been named Jeff, because the first record of a name of Kingsmere Lake was Jeff Lake. In 1879, when Mackenzie King was only a five-year-old boy back in Kitchener, Ontario, then known as Berlin, the Kingsmere Post Office opened up. Now, those poor farmers didn't have much use for reading and writing, so the new post office wasn't to serve their needs. Instead, it marked the beginning of the influx of the cottagers, one of the first of whom was particularly literate and influential to boot. Sir John George Bournot was chief clerk of the House of Commons and is credited with renaming Jeff Lake Kingsmere. Since it was to be decades before a prime minister named King had anything to do with the place, the choice of the name might seem curious. In fact, Burenot named Lake after King Mountain. King Mountain, in turn, had been named in honor of either King George IV or William IV by a British soldier stationed on Parliament Hill, when it was called Barracks Hill, and when Ottawa was still called Bytown. Sir George Burenot was not only the chief clerk of the House of Commons, but he was also a historian. And so he chose the name Kingsmere, knowing that mere was an old English word meaning a standing sheet of water. That famous old English story, Beowulf, had one of the chief evil monsters, Grendel, living under a mere. I wonder if old William Lyon Mackenzie King would have loved the place so much if it had remained Jeff Lake. Want more? GuideGatno.com